Right, hello you lot, how's it going? I'm Will and Ian. Today you join me in JD Oxford Street for the very first episode of Three Kings. Now, as I'm sure you are all aware, JD are the king of trainers. And on this show, we're going to invite trainer lovers from across the nation and beyond to come into the shop and have the opportunity to go on the ultimate trainer shopping screen. So today I'll be talking to my guest about their trainer history and I will be quizzing them on their trainer knowledge. And for every correct answer they get, they will get five seconds added to their time. All right, now today I'm joined by the brilliant Munia Chihuahua. How's it going, mate? How are you? It's going good, man. I mean, look, for years the world has wanted to see what I would look like in some grey tracky bottoms, mm. and I think we can say we're Ooh. all suitably disappointed, aren't we? Are you doing at the minute? Busy? You must Pretty be good, knackered. Man. Yeah, I mean, you know, um, narrowly missed out on being in the 2020 Olympics for high jump last year. So just building up for right. yeah. those pesky Kenyans, you know, sort of trying to, <laughs> trying to take the title <laughs> off them. So, uh, yeah, mm. training well, at the moment. Yeah, well, hopefully we can get you some big jumpy shoes to, you know, maybe maybe beat those Kenyans next time. Yeah, and this just, I, I want to be, this, one of my resolutions this year is just to be a bit taller. So if you can get me something with a nice bubble a in the bottom, of, just yeah. a touch, a couple of inches, never did anyone any harm. Are you a big trainer fan? Do you have like a, a staple go-to? Well, put it this way, my, my sort of relationship with trainers started when I was about four years old. I mean, I'd worn shoes right, before good. then. <laughs> But uh, one of my first pair of trainers was actually uh, Thomas the Tank trainers. And yeah. bro, they had a Velcro face of Thomas the Tank. You strapped it over the front and for a few seconds you became Usain Bolt. Mm. So it, the bar was pretty low. As I've kind of got older, I've kind of got into trainers a little bit more. I've kind of gone through the whole experience of saving up a bit and buying that one, you know, those staple trainers you rent for a couple of years. Yeah, what were those? Um, so it was like an Adidas Z Flux collaboration. So well, you've been just practicing here. Yeah, you have had this written down. All I've gone is I've gone right. Brand, letter, <laughs> word that Willow won't understand. So yeah, Adidas Z Flux. It was like mm. a Pharrell collaboration. Had loads of little tiny prisms along the sides, Ooh. and I just remember saving up for a couple of months and then rushing in, trying them on, taking them home. Get them. Get them. Love a lot of um, Air Max 97s are my favourite type of shoe. This is the Pokemon of trainers for me. 97s. Mm -hmm. I'd have to agree with you, they're yeah. also my favourite too. Good taste. It also it says down here, what would Unknown P's favourite pair of trainers be? He doesn't strike me as a trainer's man. Yeah man, you've done your research. I think he's more of a wellies guy. Right. You know, if you ask the streets, everyone knows about Unknown P's massive wellies. <laughs> You'd agree, right? Uh, massive wellies, yeah. massive. That's what they say anyway. All right, uh, let's crack on with my questions okay. then. Before changing its name to Nike in 1971, what was the brand called? Look, listen, all right, I know I haven't had any hair and makeup done, but do I look like I was old enough to know that question? <laughs> what was Nike called before 1971? Oh, you could have, you've been looking uh, into this. How many clues am I allowed? Um, it's, it's, it's one of the worst, so the name, right, mm. it ends in sports. I feel like that's fair game. Okay. And what starts before it is one of the worst chocolate bars you can ever have. Okay. What's like bounty what sports? Like? Bounty sports. I'm gonna give you a couple more guesses. Now I've just offended it's the bounty community. Bar. This is not. A bounty's a bar? Yeah, a bounty's a bar. You can get a log of bounty. I'm thinking like you know your mum would come home from Tesco with like value pack twenty of them. You can get twenty in one. And they can't be more than like six p each. Okay. All right. Um, it rhymes with. Blue Gibbon. Oh, wow. Okay, Blue Ribbon. Yes! What, yeah! Is it? Yeah! Is it? What the hell's Blue Ribbon? What blue Ribbon. Blue Ribbon. You not had a Blue Ribbon before? And we didn't blue have those ribbon. in Zimbabwe. Very good, very good. So that's five, t five seconds added to your time. You can do a lot in that time, Will. Uh, okay. 1980s classic teen movie, Fast Times at Ridgemont High, brought a trainer brand to the mainstream. But what was that brand? <sighs> it sounds like a sort of. American high school musical type vibe. Okay, I'm, I'm all right, okay, cool. So it's um, so it's an, a classic TV show. What would they have been wearing? I reckon it was probably uh, a Reebok trainer. I was going to say close, but you weren't. Uh, it, it was Vance. Oh, it was Vance, apparently. of course, man. If it's American, like, skater dude, yeah. get out the bands, man. 
Okay, yeah, that was yeah. almost as horrible as my answer. So let's move on. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll knock five seconds off for that. <laughs> All right, number three. Michael Jordan mm. once slammed dunked the basketball. Yes, he did. Yeah. So hard that he shattered the backboard and Nike released a hard to find pair of Air Jordan ones to mark the occasion. Okay. What colors are featured on the shattered backboard? Uh, shattered, shattered, shattered backboard was actually, shattered backboard, that was the, really the original rap name for Unknown P actually. Shattered backboard. Uh, but no, what were the colours? Well, it's got to be red. Surely if you're smashing a, a blackboard and it's disintegrating into a million mm. pieces of glass, yep. the only colour is going to be red. And white. Red and white. Red, white, orange. We've got orange. Uh, uh, yeah, orange. And, and what's the opposite of white? Bl black. Yeah. So no points for well, the why did, I, why did I even think about that? <laughs> why did I even think about that? Apparently they were black and orange. Well, I got half of it, so uh, two point five. No, you got half of it after I gave you. I can't two point five. Time for that. I will give you. I will give you seven loud? tenths of a second for that. All right, cool. Red is close to orange. All right, cool. Fine, fine. Okay. Our next round is called match up. Mm -hmm. What I've done is I've cut the feet off some celebrities, okay. and I need you to guess what shoe they're wearing. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you'll get three seconds if you pick like the style or you know the brand, and an extra three seconds if you can pick out the colorway. Okay. If you get the exact trainer, you get ten seconds added to your time. Got it. You ready? I'm ready. All right, Munya. Yeah. Our first picture, we've got Fredo. Right. In his lovely blue trackie. Mm -hmm. What lot of thing goes with this? A lot of chest action going on there. He's going to be in Nikes. So. I see, I see. We're going to have a little look around. Oh, we're getting warm. The, the tracksuit's sort of like a baby blue colour. It is. He likes matching this guy. Do you know what I mean? He's not, if one thing the streets say about Fredo is he's got brilliant fashion sense. Very yes. much the Got Kwan of the rap world. Very much. I was you know? thinking that too, yeah. Okay, I'm getting a bit of a tingle. Let's think about the kind of guy Fredo is. Yeah. All right, now, from the picture, you can tell he hits the gym, but like most guys, we've probably got quite skinny ankles. Get a zoom yeah. in on that, yeah? So, if you've got skinny ankles, what do you want to do, Will? You want to hide them, mate. You want to hide, hide them, them, and how are you going to hide them? You're going to hide them with some high tops. Exactly, so I'm going to say the white Jordans with the high top. When you, I'm so sorry. No, 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 wait, sorry, I mean, what I meant to say, <laughs> Well, yeah. well, well, yeah. I'm so sorry Air to do Force this. Ones. It is the White Air Force Ones. I don't think these run as much in the UK. I don't uh, think you can kick Why did I say that? Sorry, mate. That's, uh, that could have been... Well, then that's his own fault because now his ankles are on show. All right, next up, we have got Kendrick Lamar. Okay. What's he wearing here? All right. So here's what I'm going to say. Mm. He's wearing a Nike hoodie. Yes. All right, which makes me think you know, if you're one of the most conscious rappers in the world, you're not going to let a, a brand mismatch be the death of you. Mm -hmm. So, he's still going to be wearing Nikes, right? right. Now... Hmm. Are we staying in this part of the okay. Nike section, or are we going to venture? Well, it just, it just so happens that I always walk around shops by myself looking miserable, so I know this store inside out, so <laughs> let's... No, no, let's stay here for a second. Ooh. Okay. Might need a little bit of extra height, he's not the biggest guy in the world. Let me see the outfit again. Okay, so I know it's Nike. Mm. That much I know. Mm -hmm. Three I points. think he would go with something black, a black trainer. Okay. Wait, what I'm... style of Nike, of dark Nike, do you think he would? When you, when you, what, what style of Nike do you think he okay. would? Okay, Will's oh, developed a twitch, uh, oh. which is not helping me. So, what? okay. A mic, a mic, ah, ah. Do you know what? Mm, the t oh, I'm getting I cold think... from that side of the room, mate. Okay, right. If I was Kendrick Lamar, what would I be wearing on my feet? Probably private jets, to be honest. But when people hear me rap, a lot of the time people go, hey, you sound like a posh Kendrick Lamar. Have you heard that? Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get that too. When they... So wow. let me just, me and Kendrick, we're probably thinking the same right now. And I would be wearing some Air Max. I don't like me, I've given you enough. I've given you enough. <laughs> this is what I'm going to say. I'm just going to use my Kendrick tingle. Mm. What's my Kendrick tingle saying? I don't want to waste anyone's time. So, we know it's a black Nike Air Max, mm. and I think it could be the 97s. Sorry, I don't think you and Kendrick are as in tune as you think you are. It was actually a black pair of Vapor Maxes. Okay, fine. Lesson learned. Me and Kendrick aren't the same. Our third and final picture, Munya, is this fine gentleman here. Okay, Kanye West. What allegiance is I'm saying? What brand? It's going to be Adidas. Mm. Black, black, white. It's got to be 
It has to be white trainers, it has to be. I can tell you the exact trainer is in front of you right now. Look, Will, he's got a black jacket on, mm. white t-shirt, black trousers. Why not fuse everything together in the trainers mm -hmm. and wear a black and white Adidas Gazelle? Take yourself a bow, Munya. Yes! Put it on. Come on! Nailed it! The exact shoe. Ten oh. seconds to your oh, ultimate yeah. shopping spree! Okay, Munya, 27.7 seconds whenever you're ready. Okay, right, let's go. Right, West knows best, yep, Gazelle. Yep, yep, yep. Let's run, 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 run. Oh, Jesus, Straight to the Nike, straight to the Nike. They're calling me, they're yep. calling me. Okay, right, boom, Vape Max. Add a couple of bubbles on. 97s, there we go. A couple there of inches go. goes a long way. Yep. Right, okay, right, over to these. Sustainable 3D printed sole because I'm an absolute Nikazoid. Grab that. This one's for running. Just call me Mun Farah. I'm going to hit this with the Air Jordan. All right, I know it's a waste of time, but here we go. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> couple of Jordans. Take them, take them, take them. Right, okay, right, go. Back run, back run. We've got four seconds. Okay, we're oh, back to the gazelles. Oh, no, we don't one. want these. We want these. Okay, right, here we go. Okay, all right, yeah. on your toes. Take it, yeah! <laughs> Easy. Oh, well done, He scores. And that is your time, fella. Absolutely chuffed for that. You've done brilliantly well. I'll, I'll talk you through what I was thinking. So this was a bit of a panic move, but actually quite chuffed with this. Mm -hmm. Sleek, smart. Uh, this will get me out there. Yeah, you know what I mean? This is a Tinder profile pick. A couple of Jordans. Now, I've never worn these before, but you remember what we were saying earlier? Mm -hmm. Some days you feel good about your ankles, some days you don't. So, on the bad days, on the good days. Got your you know? options, well done. Really, we've got an option for every level of ashiness right now. Really? Yeah, I mean, look, very much want to be calling myself Mun Farah in a few years. And for that, you need a good running trainer. And then to take it up a level, a notch even more. Mate, 3D printed sole. Special. You're talking to the guy who started off with Thomas the Tank Trainers and I've come to 3D printed soles. What this is, character arc this is. Uh, this is a great character arc, exactly. Uh, I want you to take over the gazelles next. Okay, gazelles. I think just seeing Kanye wearing these mm. gave me the confidence to wear them. All right, and then lastly, we've got a 90s M-Zoom and a Vapor Max. What yeah. we're saying here. Well, I mean, Zoom's been the buzzword for the past year, so it would be rude not to really, but I don't know, man. I like wearing a bit of color, you know? Mm. Uh, some of us enjoy, some of us don't enjoy dressing like a painter. Um, not naming any not names. <laughs> but I just wanted to add a bit of colour in. All right, that's been this episode of Three Kings. You've been a brilliant guest until Thank that you very end bit. <laughs> All right, that's it from us. We'll see you guys later. Goodbye.